Hi students! I am Ma'am Rasa and welcome to Business Math. On this video, we're going to talk about the Cost Revenue Net Income Analysis. Businesses recognize different types of costs that they incur each month. Some of these costs remain unchanged and some of it tends to fluctuate. Businesses need to generate revenues to pay for these costs. They also have goals to consider which they require their profits to grow. It is necessary for a business to understand all of this so they can plan their activities and or transactions realistically. This principle is the same from your home budget. You need to consider your short-term costs and or expenses, future goals, and income from your paychecks or bank account. Once you put all of this together, you hope that your budget will balance to meet your financial goals. On this video, you will learn about the various types of costs and how it relates to revenues in order to determine profitability levels. You will then apply this to see how the sale of an individual product contributes to covering costs and how each product individually contributes to overall profitability. There are different types of costs, but first let's define what is a cost. A cost is an outlay of money required to produce, acquire, or maintain a product or services. This includes all the costs which are fixed, Variable, direct, and indirect that incurred in carrying out the business operations. Costs can be a fixed and also a variable. In a fixed cost or overhead costs, this is a cost that does not vary with different levels of production. This type of cost exists when there is no output produced. Regardless of how many output that a business can produce, fixed cost remains the same. For example, your rent a stall for your quick quick business inside the mall. Whether you produce a lot of quick quick or not, but still, you pay the rent in the same amount. So that is why one of the example of a fixed cost is rent. We have also another examples such as insurance, property taxes, salaries unrelated to production such as management, production equipment, and office furniture. A total fixed cost refers to the sum of all fixed costs that the business incurs. On the other hand, the average fixed cost refers to the fixed cost that assign on per unit or quantity of output produced. Another type of cost is a variable cost. This is a cost that changes depending with the level of output. If the business outputs nothing, there is no variable cost. But if the business outputs just one unit or more, then a cost appears. Thus, Variable cost depends on the level of production. Example of this are material costs of products, production labor in R or piecework wages, sales commissions, repairs, and maintenance. So for example, you have your quick quick business. If you don't produce quick quick, then you don't incur a variable cost. For example, the ingredients such as egg. But if you produce, let us say, 10 quick quicks, then you also need 10 pieces of eggs. Thus, the variable cost depends on your level of production. The total variable costs refers to the sum of all variable costs. On the other hand, an average variable cost refers to the variable cost that assign on per unit or quantity of output produced. 
By the way, is there a chance that a fixed cost can be a variable cost or a variable cost can be a fixed cost? Actually, the answer is yes, and this is what we call a blended cost. This is a cost that comprises both fixed cost and variable cost components. In other words, this is a portion of the total cost remains unchanged while the another option depends on the output. For example, utilities. Whether you produce or not, you still use electricity and water in your business. But there are times that your business could also depend on the utilities such as electricity. For example, in your quick quick business, your fryer is connected with the electricity. The more you produce quick quick with that fryer, the more you use electricity and the more you incur cost for its usage fee. This is why utilities, which is an example of fixed cost, can be a variable cost. But on this video, we're going only to focus on the fixed cost and a variable cost. So let's proceed with the calculations. In most cases, fixed costs are commonly calculated on a total basis, only since the business incurs this regardless of any production. However, variable costs are commonly calculated both on a total and per unit basis to determine the overall cost associated with any particular unit of output. When these variable costs are assigned on per unit of output basis, it is called a unit variable cost or average variable cost. In calculating the average variable cost or the unit variable cost, you simply divide the total variable cost from the number of units of your product. However, the sum of fixed and variable cost is called a total cost. On the other hand, an average cost exists if the total cost is assigned on per unit of output produced. Therefore, it can be expressed on this formula. Let's have an example. Assume that you plan to sell fried chicken wings at your neighborhood. You consider the following costs. Based on this given, what are the fixed costs and variable costs? From the example, the fixed costs are rent and utilities because you have to pay this cost even though you produce less or more number of fried chicken wings. Regardless of how many outputs that you want to produce, still you may incur these fixed costs. On the other hand, the variable costs are raw chicken wings, cost for ingredients and other materials, packaging materials, and labor. So, you already identified the fixed cost and the variable costs. Now, let's identify the average variable cost of fried chicken wings. It is given that you want to produce 100 pieces of fried chicken wings. Also, you already identified the variable cost. Now, you have to calculate first the variable cost which consists of the following cost. Thus, you have a total variable cost of 1,700. In order to calculate the average cost, you have to divide this result on the number of fried chicken wings that you want to produce. It is given that you want to produce 100 fried chicken wings. So, dividing the two amounts, your average variable cost is 17 pesos. Therefore, the variable cost of each chicken wings is 17 pesos. Now, Let's calculate the total cost and average cost. Since you already identified the fixed and variable costs in solution 1, and also the amount of total variable cost 
Now, you have to find the total fixed cost. Remember that the fixed costs are the rent and utilities. Based on your calculation, the total fixed cost is 450 pesos. Given this result, you can now get the total cost, summing up this total fixed cost and your total variable cost. Thus, you have this total cost which is 2,150. Given the total cost of 2,150 and your desired number of fried chicken wings to be produced, which is 100 pieces, now your average cost is this. In conclusion, the average cost of your fried chicken wings is 21.50 pesos. Now, let's proceed to the revenue and net income. When we say revenue, this is commonly referred to as sales. This is an income generated from business operations and includes discounts and deductions for returned merchandise. It is the top line or gross income figure from which all costs are subtracted to determine net income. So your net income, also called net earnings or profit, is calculated as sales or your revenue minus the cost of goods sold, selling, general and administrative expenses, operating expenses, depreciation, interest, taxes, and other expenses. It is useful for investors to assess how much revenue exceeds the expenses of a business or organization. This is also an indicator of a business profitability. In getting the total revenue, you simply multiply the total quantity of goods sold and the corresponding price as illustrated in the following formula. If the total cost and total revenue are already given, then you can get the net income by simply subtracting the total cost from the revenue as illustrated on this formula. Let's have an example. Assume that you plan to sell fried chicken wings at your neighborhood and your total cost in producing 100 pieces of fried chicken wings is 2,150. You decide to sell it for 27 pesos each. How much is your total revenue if you sold all fried chicken wings? And how much is your total net income? So it is given that your total cost is 2,150. You produce and sold 100 pieces of fried chicken wings for a price of 27 pesos each. Using this data, you can solve the total revenue using the following formula. So you simply multiply the 100 units of fried chicken wings to its price which is 27 pesos. And now you have already your total revenue which is 2,700. Now, how much is your total net income? Since the total revenue is already defined and the total cost which is 2,150 is already given, then you can solve the net income using this data. So using the following formula, you subtract the total cost which is 2,150 from the total revenue which is 2,700. And now you have your net income which is 550 pesos. On this, your net income for selling 100 pieces of fried chicken wings is 550 pesos. So, we're done with the cost revenue net income analysis. I hope you learned something on this video. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video. Goodbye students!